Hello guys, this is Pavlos Korob from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business. And I firstly apologize for my shaky voice. I have a cold, but I, I hope it wouldn't uh, really disturb you and you will still get value from this video. So today we have a demo project uh, based on Upwork task. I'm constantly searching for inspiration on Upwork for small projects, demo projects, or something uh, that we can showcase quick admin panel with. And this is an example. Pretty simple student application portal. This is the description. Basically, student can register for the course and institution user can approve or reject the, the application. That's it. So based on that, first I want to show you is database schema. So we used our quick admin panel to generate the admin panel, which is here. So this is where you can uh, log in as admin and you can manage disciplines, institutions, courses, and then enrollments by students and also users, students. And this is the database schema, the result of that. Basically, user stable is a default Laravel. And then a few relationships, so institutions, which is like schools or universities, then courses with relationship to institutions, and then uh, can belong to multiple disciplines, like web development, history, or whatever. And then enrollments is the actual fact of user being enrolled. It's kind of a pivot table, but at the same time it isn't because it has timestamps and it has the status of approved or rejected. And then these tables are for users and permissions from Quick Admin Panel. And these are system tables. This is for API auth. In migrations and password resets come from Laravel and media is for Spati Media Library for image management, for photo management. Now, how does it look in the browser? The result is this one. Uh, we used a bootstrap theme called eTrain by company Colorlib. They have awesome, a lot of uh, bootstrap themes. They are kind of free. They are free as long as you use the footer uh, theme made by Colorlib with their link. So we still keep it uh, that way, so we can use that by license. And when you click some course, uh, we have already pre-seeded da data in Laravel, and you can enroll the course. And enroll the course is pretty similar, um, similar form to default Laravel registration, and this is exactly what I wanted to show you, and later we will see that in the code, because uh, these four fields look very familiar and very similar to default Laravel fields. Laravel registration, you submit the enrollment, uh, system creates the user for you, fills in the enrollment uh, database record, and then you can see my course. So this is an example of a project, pretty typical project, where a uh, user doesn't actually see the backend, uh, although they do use the same registration, the same login system, uh, but outside. So the design remains as a front-end theme, uh, but in the back end, the same system is using admin panel, but only for admins and only for institutions users. Uh, so this is how it works. Uh, now let's take a look at the code. No, actually, final thing before that. When I log out as admin, I can also log in as institution user. So slash login. And I go to institution institution at institution.com password and then I see only uh, enrollments and courses by my institution and I can approve or reject them. For some reason it's slow on my homestead, no idea why. Uh, enrollments, so I will see the list of enrollments and uh, status accepted or rejected. And I can click edit and edit the state. So awaiting, accepted, or rejected. And I see only, as I said, only my enrollments, and I will show you in the code how it looks with eloquent query scopes. Now let's take a look at the code. From code perspective, I will put it up on GitHub as well. I want to show you the enrollment process, the registration, and I want to show you how can you customize the registration to make it front-end uh, first. So this form is actually slash enroll slash course ID. Uh, goes to this one and then in enrollment controller you see this code so create function and store function which is kind of a resource controller and store function for uh, storing the registration it looks really similar as default uh, Laravel user registration so if we go to HTTP controllers auth register controller 
register controller uses use this validator and this create. Uh, the thought here is that, is that uh, you can use those outside of registrations. You can create your own controller and basically copy these uh, these parts into your own uh, registration method. It's, it's kind of a registration, so you register, you log in, and then you create the enrollment here. So this is how you can uh, use registration outside of it. And the second part, what I want to show you from the code perspective is from admin area, if I log in as institution user with institution ID, I see only my own enrollments. How is it done? In admin controller, you see enrollment all, which doesn't contain any filter, any query, anything like that. So this is done with query scopes. My eloquent, inside of the model enrollment, there is a function called boot, uh, where it adds global scope. Global scope means uh, scope to add some filter or some variables to, the, to any default query builder with that model. And if we go to that scope class, the function apply is exactly what we need. So this is the query. So if the request contains admin slash something, which means we are inside of admin panel, and if user is institution, we'll get to that in a second, we add to the builder. Builder where has course institution uh, and basically institution ID uh, is the same as logged in user. And if we get to is institution, just for the record, is institution is this one. Uh, this function basically checks if the roles contain role number two, which in our case is institution user. We have three roles, so admin, institution user, and student. In the same way you can uh, create, for example, is student, is student, contains three. And that actually belongs to many relationships, many to many between users and roles, and with pivot table role user. So that's it, what I wanted to show you specific in the code. Apart from that, feel free to browse the code. It's on GitHub, uh, description will be, a uh, link will be in the description below. If you want more demo projects like this one, uh, give any ideas of the topics. It, it won't be really big projects because we're creating it for free, uh, but uh, any ideas are welcome. And also subscribe to the channel and visit our quickadminpanel.com. The the system that helps us to create those uh, demo projects faster. See you guys in other videos.